Hey guys, what's good? My name is J What the hell is that? My name is Jay. To be quite honest, I'm a little bit nervous talking right now. It's really weird. You guys are probably very used to our lifestyle vlogs that Justin and I have where we're like out and about, Q and A's, a lot of challenges. All that stuff is really fun as well too. But we decided that we should also do a diary type of series. You do get both Justin and I. We're fun and we're entertaining and you get to see different parts of our personalities. At the same time too, it's really important that... Oh my god, there's a spider. I hate spiders. We just wanted a space where we can let things out. Kind of look back five years down the road. We can be like, wow, like that was my mindset before. I've grown a lot. It's exciting, but I, I'm really nervous, you know? Ever since September rolled in, like as soon as September hit, I generally go through a really depressive state. And I'm not just like saying like, oh, I'm depressed. Like, no, I've battled with mild depression in my early 20s and I really haven't spoken up about it because I, it's just something that I really didn't think I really needed to share. You just kind of have to find ways to deal with it and to cope with it. It does a lot of damage to you. You, be, you start to become demotivated, distance yourself from friends, sleep, pretty much behind what you need to do and you generally ruminate in your head where you're just kind of lost in your thoughts. As soon as September hit, I'm like, oh no, like I feel it. The weather's changing, it's getting a little bit colder. You're starting to feel it. September is generally the time that everyone's reassessing their life, what they need to do, aspirations, kind of have to go from there, right? And then see if you wanna improve, right? As you guys know, I am a graphic designer, I am a creative director for Nevada Rose, but at the same time too, this September, my primary focus was to try to get a second job in the creative field. All I have to do is update my portfolio, website resume, and I should be good to go, right? However, you guys probably don't really know the backstory of my past relationship and I'm not gonna get into detail. There's a lot of emotional distress, trauma that's all tied into all of this. Long story short, my ex-partner and I had a dog together. My dog's birthday, her name is Bay, September 15th, which had already passed. I was already thinking about her birthday and I haven't you know, taken the time to even grieve not seeing her for a few months. Not being able to walk with her, wasn't gonna wake up and see her every day. I had to cut communications due to personal reasons. The only way I was able to temporarily move forward with my life was to kind of block out every single thing that happened in my past. It was just more so like, okay, it's game time. Focus on your career, YouTube channel, just kill it, be happy. And I feel like I did that. Now that September hits, a lot of memories, a lot of my past is starting to spiral to the point where it's starting to affect my abilities to work on my portfolio to my best potential and when you think about these little things you think that's so easy like you know just take the one day to do it allocate hours make a plan make a list at the same time too i just couldn't focus because of everything that was going on in my head and in the past leading up to my dog's birthday i started you know i i cried so hard i was crying a lot and that whole day i just it was like the first time in months that I looked at photos of her and I together, videos of her and I together, and took the time to appreciate, reminisce, and to grieve. You know, after her birthday pass, I felt like a lot of the weight that was riding on my shoulders, even the doubts that my previous relationship was bringing back, because when it came to applying, I was having so much self-doubts, like, you're not good enough for that job. There's other people who are more skilled and more creative than you are. It's a lot of negative self-doubt that keeps running in my head because my dog was also tied into a very complex relationship. And a lot of that has also transferred into me trying to find a job because I keep hearing, you know, the, 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 the voice in my head that's telling me you can't do it. But I feel like after allowing myself to grieve that the the past is over 
and to just accept the good memories that I had from the past. It really allowed me to have a peace of mind. And right now I feel I feel really good. A huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. As much as, you know, we're not together, I know she knows how much I love her and I love her so much. I miss her so much and I hope one day I can see her again. My family and friends are right. Like I need to be a little bit more forgiving and kind to myself because I know I work hard. I know I've done a lot of good, especially during these last few months of being single. If I can conquer and do all of that during the whole year, I can still do that going into the fall season. I know I have good supportive people, friends, a lot of family members who you know, care about me. Shout out to all of you guys who, you know, constantly message me, who always check up on me because as a Scorpio, I am a lot to handle, but I have a big heart. I really just want what's best for myself. I just really need to look at myself, I guess in front of the camera, look at myself in the mirror and just say, you're beautiful, you're talented, you got this. I need to be my own cheerleader. I should not allow myself to feel bad because if you're really feeling sad or depressed, let yourself feel those emotions. Don't hide it because at the end of the day, you're gonna be like me who goes through the months and thinks you're fine. Then, you know, one little thing that will trigger you to remember the past. And instantly I just started thinking about the past and I got lost in my head and you don't wanna do that. Let yourself feel it, embrace it and acknowledge it. And when you're done, you're gonna feel 10 times better. Who cares if you wasted a little bit of time? Sometimes wasting a little bit of time is okay because mental health is more important, you know? And mental illness is a real situation. I'm really not kind to myself. I really beat myself a whole lot and I'm working really hard to change that. And I hope you guys can do the same as well too. I'm sorry, I'm really awkward on camera. I'm like, when it comes to like being vulnerable, I have like a really hard time doing that. I have a hard time being vulnerable to real, like raw feeling. Feelings about trauma, feelings for a person that you like. Like I get really, really, I get hella awkward. Another thing running in my mind during this, I guess September was just like, also realizing that I've been single for almost a year. As much as I had fun, I'm not trying to rush into anything, but like I've been pretty good. You know what they say, fall, winter, it's like cuffing season and, cuddling season and all that stuff and like there was just like a moment where I was you know just walking around downtown here in Toronto walking around and thought about things and I was just like alone like am I ever gonna feel that something again you know that spark I'm a very affectionate person and for me to not be affectionate is like it's very challenging and even just coming from, you know, a very traumatic past, I feel like sometimes it's really hard for me to be affectionate. I felt like I felt something. Like I felt like I had a moment in the last little bit where I felt something. I can't even explain it, but I haven't felt something like that in a very long time. Whatever temporary shit that was, I experienced it because I haven't felt that way in so long and it was just like it was really nice and it was really comforting I sound so fucking gay I'm gonna stop talking about it right now but moral of the lesson is you are not alone you got family and friends that support you and you got you have yourself you have yourself you are your biggest cheerleader know that mental health is a real thing make sure to check up on your family and friends make sure they're doing okay this is the most randomest video this is something that we wanted to try and i think this is really more so for ourselves it's very vulnerable for me like you know as a scorpio this is like one of the things i say a scorpio is an open book with pages missing meaning that you can meet me for the very first time and I can literally tell you so much random facts, so much TMI sometimes about myself that like, you're like, wow, like I've learned so much about this guy. But there are also skeletons and so many other things about us that like even our family and close friends will, will never know, you know, the mystery behind us. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. This vlog probably will not make any sense. I am so sorry if it's all over the place. I'm really embarrassed right now to even make this video because I feel like I'm making a fool out of myself, but 
this is the whole point. I mean, not to make a fool out of myself, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and love you guys. Justin and I love you and be sure to stay tuned for our next vlog. Bye.